Meet Ed. Wireless connectivity was simple when he lived on his farm. Wirelessly surfing the web, tweeting and keeping in touch with friends via instant messaging. With no wireless disturbance in sight, life was bliss. Until he moved to the city for work and was surrounded with more wireless devices than ever. Ed likes to use his laptop, tablet, phone, wireless scanner, printer, Bluetooth speakers, online video streaming and gaming devices, filling his unit with competing wireless signals. Given the amount of wireless signals, Ed runs into wireless interference, causing poor performance with some of his devices. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Isn't that right, Ed? Mm -hmm. What Ed doesn't realize is that wireless usage by his neighbors can also cause more interference to his devices. And at night, it gets even worse when everyone comes back home from work causing wireless usage to reach its peak. So what can Ed do to make his wireless devices perform better? Can't ask all your neighbors to stop using their wireless devices, can you, Ed? But Ed, you can limit the wireless signal within your unit by 1. Connecting devices that don't move to your wired network. Roku, Apple TV, game consoles, printers, and TVs should connect with a wire. 2. Turning off wireless devices that aren't in use. 3. Using N or AC interface devices for better wireless performance with devices that do move, like your phone, tablets, etc. This should help your devices perform better. See the difference? Remember, Ed, use wires for performance and wireless for convenience only. Good night. <laughs>